I don't know if you guys, you are feeling the way I'm feeling because I'm really not getting that energy. I see at, I look at her like, do I see her? I feel like she's a bit more quiet and a bit sad, like not really okay, not really happy, like she's really forcing to be, but she's not. I'm really not getting that vibe that we used to get when she was back in Jamaica. She could laugh and tell us how we will, we are, we are waiting to see the tingle and that kind of thing. You understand? I'm not getting that vibe. I don't know if people are getting that vibe. Kindly forgive me. Hmm? I, I really don't know. I, I really, you know, Edwin says I'm correct. Yeah, that's how I'm feeling. Even when she was with Casta, the vibe was not vibing. The girl is not okay. She will, she's saying something and as if she's saying it, as if she's not saying it. The laughter has reduced. Everything is just like, hey, our girl. I know the heat was really the heat, but, <laughs> you know, I was advising you guys, sometimes it's not good to be like hitting your chest, like, you know, the way she used to do. It's sometimes, it's good to humble. Just stay in your lane, you understand? Staying in your lane. And also not making things look like they're abnormal. Everything in this world that we're living in, everything is just so normal. It's just so normal. You know, she was really making things to become so abnormal. Like, she, like today, I heard she say that she made her hair for over 50,000, 49, 46,000. And I'm like, where? Where in Kenya will you make your hair at that price? Even our ministers, they don't do that. Even in Nairobi itself, you cannot make your hair at that price. <laughs> we know the prices. I went to ladies, or just because I have short hair, I don't know the prices of these things. <laughs> I've been there, guys. You can't lie on these things, you know. Now she's making things look very abnormal. That vibe is not really a good vibe. I've been looking at her like, Ay, no, 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 no. D. And then now, from Zanzibar, you did not even stay in that city or... Greetings to you all. How are you? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your time zone and of course the time that you watch this video. As usual, it is my prayer that the video is going to find you good of health. So my people, let's take a moment and welcome all the new people in the house. The newest subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. You are welcomed. Become part of this beautiful and amazing family. To my returning subscribers, as always, I love you from the bottom of my heart. Your likes and comments are not taken for granted. So my people, hey, <laughs> let me just start by laughing. I was... um. Busy as usual, because being busy is part of me. <laughs> I came upon this guy called Max One. Hey, Max One, oh, I don't know uh, what your intention is, but when Di Mwango was talking to her father, that was not an argument. Do you know the difference between an argument and a conversation? Do you know the difference? That was not an argument. And these are two people of uh, with of two different generations, and as always, their ideas gonna clash whether you like it or not. These people are so different. Like they, their school of thought is so so different. What this father sees is not what D sees, and everyone has their own opinion, which is very very okay. Like it's very okay. Like you know, you cannot force someone and especially an adult, a grown-up, to buy your ideology. Like sometimes it is so hard. And we all know what has been happening here in Kenya. There are so many things that are happening in Kenya. Like now we have uh, the teachers, uh, the high school teachers on strike. What has the government done about it? Max One, you're a teacher. I know that you're a teacher. So what, has the government, what is the government actually doing? Nothing. Do you get it? So that was not an argument. So that was just a, by the way, my people. Hey, carrot, carrot, carrot. <laughs> Can you leave Zach alone? Carrot came so hard on Zach. And you know the way she started by <laughs> taking the ear, the earphones and uh, putting her around her neck and all that. Oh, carrot, come on. You know very well an earphone can be used as a mic. That is just obvious. If you don't know, 
Now you know. And there's nothing big about it. At the end of the day, it is all about passing your own analysis, whichever and however you want. Do you get it? If you think uh, by using your microphone, you are better than Zach, hey, my friend, you are cheating yourself and your audience. Zach is a smart guy, very smart. And there's no way you can come to his level because sometimes you talk a lot of things that are not making sense. They actually, they don't make sense. Like, for example, let's talk about this wed uh, the supposed wedding between Marwa and Ro in Argentina. What is the big deal? You can get married uh, in any country that you want to as long as your papers are in order and as long as you abide by the laws of a given country. Do you know that carrot? Like it is not a must for Mara to do it in Nyabohanse. Though, uh, I, of course, I know most Africans, that is how they prefer. But you can wed anywhere. It doesn't have to be in Nyabohanse. It can be abroad. And you know, uh, when you are telling Zach to stop asking you questions, how do you, think, how do you expect him to stop asking you? And talking about you. Of course, we will talk about you. We'll keep on talking about you until the day you'll tell us who is the headmaster, who is the prefect, and who are the classroom students or whatever your intention or whatever you intended to say until the day you'll tell us. So if you, have, uh, you want people to stop talking about you, then you need to stop talking about D. Mwango. Like totally, you need to stop talking about D. Mwango you need to stop talking about Marwa, congrats, mom, just that family in general. You can focus on so many things. Do you get it? So, guys, this lady, <clears throat> she was like, Zach, leave me alone. And I cannot leave Dimwango. So if you, can, if you swear that you can't leave Dimwango, how do you expect us to leave you? We are not going to leave you. We will be with you bumper to bumper, bumper to bumper. We, we are going to give you left and right. Hey, <laughs> you just watch this space, left and right, left and right. We are going to give you whether you like it or not. We're going to serve it hot to you. You talk the issue to do with Wi-Fi. My friend, we all know that Wi-Fi is very expensive in Kenya. And there's nothing wrong with Marwa uh, when he said that uh, when he travels to Argentina, He's going to change his package. There's nothing wrong with that. People hack. They get the password and all that. But that does not mean that you can't do anything. Unless someone is paying for you, you're not paying from your own pocket, Carrot. Tell us. Just tell us the truth. Maybe you have a donata who is paying for you. And that is why you don't feel the pinch. Because if you get it, Wi-Fi is super, super expensive. And especially... For content creators, like you need to upload your videos and all that. So you just need to uh, to have like Wi-Fi around you, like 24-7. You need to have Wi-Fi. So there's no way you can come out here and justify, oh, uh, Marwa is petty. Why does he want to restrict or to change the package that is being too petty and all that? It is not being petty. It is all about cash. Do you get it? It is all about cash. Do you get it, Carrot? Cash and cash and nothing else. It is all about cash. Hey, Carrot, you will one day kill us in these whitey streets. <laughs> By the way, sometimes I wonder whether you are okay mentally or not. This lady came out to talk about uh, Congrats' dad. That Congrats' dad has ensured D. Mwango and David Jr. are very close like they are very, very close. And the reason is because they come from the same mother and the same father. According to Carrot, Congrats' dad sat down with these two people and made them swear that they'll never betray each other. Do you get it? But Mara being from a different father, Congrats' dad is kinder putting him aside. That is according to Carrot the parrot. You know, Carrot can say anything. Carrot, where did you get all this information from? Where did you get the information from? And she's trying to justify that it is D. Mwango that is making David Jr. to go to the villa. Otherwise, David Jr. would not go there. That's not correct. 
In the past, we have seen David Jr. going to the villa doing videos there, and Dim Wango was nowhere to be seen. So I don't know how you did arrive at that. These people are family. They have their, they have their own issues, just like any other family. Just like your family and mine. Sibling revelry. We've talked about it so much. And sometimes we have uh, this sibling revelry going to an extent that it is uh, like um, people uh, never come to a resolution. And, and the whatever, whether it is bitterness, whether it is hatred, it keeps on growing and growing. And sometimes it becomes very hard for people to let it go. But this issue of you just talking about the parent, congrat dad, is the one who is putting the rift between Dimwango, Dimwango and David Jr. versus Marwa. I can't agree with you. I can't. When you look at these people, they are doing good. They are doing good. And when you look at any family worldwide, it's just something that is so common. Like there's nothing uh, outer this world. So I don't know whether you understand. And then the other thing that I that actually I found it uh, I found it hilarious. Oh, when Dim Wango arrived in Kenya, oh, David Jr. picked her from the airport, uh, you know, drove her from Nairobi to Nyabohanse. Oh, but Marwa, when he landed with Rocio in Migori airstrip, they had to use a boda boda. That's life. That's life, Carrot. And there's no way we can force issues. <laughs> we can't force issues. Eh? I don't know whether you get it. And you know the way she was like, oh, I can't imagine my brother serving vehicles. And when I arrive at the airport, oh, uh, there's no one to pick me. How can I get in a plane? And when I land, I use a border border. That, it does happen. It does happen. And it is not the first time we see Marwa on a border border. Or a motorbike. It is not the first time. We have seen Marwa after landing in Kenya, landing in Nairobi, traveling by bus to Migori. And then we, we have seen him being picked by a border border. It's life. And as we say, Urajikuna Penye, Mkono wako inafika, Maje Karot, you are the one who usually teaches us proverbs. Like, let me translate this for my international audience. You scratch where your hand can reach. So I don't know why you'd want to make this issue to be very big. Like very big. Why is it that Dimwango is being picked? Why is it that Marwa and Ro can't be picked? Or why is it that Ro is not asking Marwa? You know, just a lot of uh, issues that are not making sense. Do you get it? Just for the sake of uh, entertaining your audience and all that. My friend, hey, you're just crazy. You are super, super crazy. Let these people be. Let them be. At least do constructive criticism. Don't just pick issues where there are no issues and then you force. It can't happen. Like, it can't work. Do you get the tingle? If you know the tingle, you know the tingle. And then I still on the issue of Dim Wango. I don't know where you want Dim Wango to go to. I don't know whether you uh, Nyabohansi is your home or what is it. Like uh, Pilipili usio ila inakuashia nini. Why don't you want her to be in Nyabohansi? Like you're asking, why is she in Nyabohansi? Why is she there? Where do you want her to go? Like just tell us, just tell us. Mention the places that you want Dimwango to go. Maybe she will listen to you and go to those places because... Uh, it is now uh, it is now you, uh, Commander Carol, giving out instructions to Dim Wango. Where do you want her to go? Eh? Where do you want her to go? And then you are talking about oh, Dim Wango could not uh, show us how she came from Zanzibar because we always see. You know, we always see through her lenses. We are all we are always behind her. And then you uh, you like just contradicting yourself. The other, sometimes you say, oh, I don't watch this girl. But you are here questioning, how did she arrive in, from Zanzibar to Nairobi? Uh -huh. How did she uh, get from Nairobi to Nyabohansi? Like, why did she not show us? What did you want to see? <laughs> what did you want to see? 
And by the way, you sent your errant boy, JT, to go find out about the white skirt. JT, have you done so? Have you found out about the white skirt? You people, you are just something else. You are something else. You are always out here to bring confusion, to come up with your own st uh, st uh, stories that are not making sense. Why can't you just uh, take a moment and breathe in and breathe out? <laughs> Oh my God, this world, when they say wonders will never end in this world or wonders will never cease, you think it's a joke. These are some of the things that we talk about. You just look at these people and you wonder like, how do they uh, come up with all this? Like, uh, what is their intention and all that? So my guys, if you have watched this video up to this far, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you've not subscribed. Thank you so much and goodbye for now.